Conway Medical Center's foundation depends on volunteers. When they got this one, the price was right. Who is she? You'll meet her coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Reflections Bar at the Marina Inn at Grand Dunes. We're focused on the 8th Annual Winter Gala of the Conway Medical Center Foundation. And we're visiting with its former chairman and the Flower and Decorations Committee chairman of this year's event, Judy Price. Judy, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for having us, Greg. Absolutely. All week. And of course, Jessica Sastra was with us yesterday morning. Liz Abright and Janie Smith will be with us tomorrow, the two operators of the Health Reach van. Very good. And then I believe the President's CEO, Phil Clayton, will be with us on Friday. Right here, Axel Surrey, the Vice President of the Marine Inn, will be with us here on Thursday. So exciting to get you in. And of course, well, with your experience with the event, this is your now eighth year, right? That's correct. I have been involved with the gala since its inception. So right out of the gate, yeah. That's right. Exciting to see some of the uh, the improvements each year. I guess knowing your first year was probably tremendous right out of the gate. Well, but, uh, it was, of course, very anxiety provoking to know if it would be well received. But we had every reason to expect that Conway and uh, the community at large would be receptive to a nice black tie event that included right. couples and uh, something other than what primarily had been used as a fundraiser before was a golf tournament. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, we were real excited about it, but we made a choice and a decision that we wanted it to be a very first class affair. And oh. I've been very proud of the fact that it has remained such over oh, the yeah. years. You remember the first year pretty pretty clearly. Oh yes. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Um, there's always little bloopers and last minute things that uh, mm -hmm. happen, but it came off beautifully and it has just continued to grow every year. Absolutely. And we've been blessed by the community support of that. We're right at 10 days, 11 days away from tomorrow, I mean 11 days from today, to know that, of course, this venue, and you were here last year. Yes, we were so ecstatic to be the first large uh, charity social event that the Marina Inn hosted, and they did a remarkable job. That's really? our primary reason for returning. They served a magnificent meal. The facility itself is just beautiful and for many people <clears throat> excuse me who chose to overnight after the event they made right. available accommodations oh, and yeah. uh, it was just a wonderful weekend for some yeah. of us so yeah. we really enjoyed it Jessica talked a little bit about that off camera ye yesterday morning either before or after interview of how exciting it was and she quickly called her husband and said come check out this room we got <laughs> it's the bomb it's, it was fabulous yeah. um, the and had just opened right. and they were of course using us for some public relations I think for them as right, well to spread right. the word but yeah. you certainly would have no problem speaking very positively about it right. because it was beautiful. Top shelf. Really well, we're excited to get Axel Surrey in on Thursday okay. and to hear about what makes it the uh, AAA uh, four diamond property that it is and mm -hmm. I understand there's just a couple of those, one in Conway, mm -hmm. uh, the Cypress Inn and of course the, uh, the, the Marriott Resort there at Grand Dunes right across the street here. True, so Two yeah. right up here, beautiful facilities. Real quick about yourself, Judy. You were originally from the Carolinas? That's correct. I'm from Gastonia, North oh, good. Carolina. Oh, great. I've been in the uh, Conway and um, Myrtle Beach area for about 27 years. Fantastic. Wow. And I've you been, know the medical community well. That's true. And have uh, been involved with uh, numerous medical uh, fundraisers and events um, right. over the years. We have a wonderful um, auxiliary and, and so forth yeah. uh, that participates in hospital fundraising as well. I think Jessica said the auxiliary is one of the big sponsors yes. of this uh, of the event here on the 26th. That's correct. Yeah. As well as we certainly appreciate um, your participation. Oh yeah, the, our show uh, sponsor. That's right, the Myrtle exactly Beach right. Herald. Myrtle she's Beach. talking about. That's we right. Are yeah. So thrilled, and uh, we certainly hope you have a very positive experience with. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, presenting that for us this year. Very definitely. We were a big sponsor last year, but nothing like being a presenting sponsor. Yeah. And there were some great presenting sponsors year after year, and obviously we were always trying to shoot for that. There's some other great sponsors. I think Jessica 
had mentioned yesterday the paparazzi sponsor for the Hooray for Hollywood theme, Hard Rock theme park, uh -huh. had stepped in. Of course, Chancel Builders and line after line of a lot of tremendous area folks that step up to the plate and say Conway Medical Center and its mission of making a difference in the community, uh, surely the health of the community is something we want to wrap around. We are so blessed. and. Um, it isn't just the immediate Conway community. Right. It is the entire uh, general area of the Grand Strand and Conway. So mm -hmm. we are very uh, excited to have so many people participate with us. Yeah, that's a big area when you talk about geographically the largest county in the state and the fourth largest county in the state over in Georgetown. And when you think about tomorrow with Liz and Janie coming in to talk about the Health Reach Band, that's a big piece of what the dollars raised at this event on the 26th and then later the Kingston Golf Classic will go to. Share with viewers if they can't be here tomorrow or weren't with Jessica yesterday a little bit about the Health Reach van and even I think there's what a Backpack Buddies program as well? That's correct. Um, I have always been so impressed with the quality of staffing and care that from the very beginning was available on the Health Reach van. They're very qualified persons to make uh, consulting uh, contacts if someone you know has a serious problem or health issue that they mm -hmm. can't manage uh, it's just a great screening uh, operation as well and the general public frequently doesn't understand that when we have a facility such as the van that goes out into the community we prevent some of the non-emergency visits that transpire and and would be coming into the emergency room and unfortunately then raising the cost if these are individuals who don't have health insurance and, and mm -hmm. don't have means to pay we all benefit by this mm -hmm. in a cost-effective way so right. uh, the van being of course free to individuals but mm. at the same time those of us who do have insurance and are blessed enough to be able to use the hospital for facility itself right. Excuse right. Me, right. Um, we, we really do benefit by uh, keeping all of our costs down. By oh, having yeah. That That's a very good point. Mm -hmm. Very good point. Of course, to think about the van getting out into the community, and I, as you mentioned, the, uh, the medical center and, of course, the event here really focus on the entire community. And that van, I think, traveling all yes. over from Myrtle Beach up to Gallivan's Ferry through Ainer and down in Bucksport, just all over the county. It really, really does. And like I said, it is staffed with very competent, capable uh, persons. So we're very, I'm just extremely proud. Strong to, professionals. Uh, and I just don't know of anything that you could align yourself with to earn monies uh, that we would all benefit uh, so, you know, personally and uh, mm -hmm. uh, greatly by. So I feel very good about uh, continuing my association with the gala, the backpack program. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. so moved by that being initiated, and I've had the privilege also of participating with the same group of children that benefit from backpack with a few other charity events, mm -hmm. and they are the most precious children. Really? And yeah. So mm. grateful and beneficial. And it even was started that several of them, when they were given their own backpacks, ask could they have one for their brother or their no, sister. No, boy. So yeah. we have now included meals for siblings in those if mm -hmm. we are aware that, you know, there is someone in the home who also might not have a meal for the period of time that they're away from school. So it's a wonderful and This program. is a school that helps for viewers who uh, may not be able to tune in tomorrow to catch Liz and Janie talking about the Backpack Buddies program. But It's primarily... Um, in association with the Palmetto Bays Elementary School. Okay. There are about 175 children that um, are recipients and participate, and um, a couple of other schools with smaller numbers uh, right. in the, the Conway area. But that's the largest uh, number of participating children. And the Health Reach van, uh, those two uh, ladies actually help bring the supplies out. Folks will donate uh, some stuff that goes into, uh, it's provided to the teacher, I believe, and they actually put it in the students' backpacks exactly. to carry them, so they'll have food That's true. for the weekends, which is amazing to think about uh, persons in this community uh, who may not be able to provide food for their kids for the week or for themselves even for the weekends. Mm. So when you think about making a donation to the foundation, you literally can understand that you possibly are putting food in a hungry child's mouth and there's no greater satisfaction yeah, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, that's final. Judy, let's talk about the evening itself coming up on January 26th just to give viewers a sense of what some of the past events, of course you've 
uh, intimately been involved, uh, put on the first two as the chairman of the event. You're now the flower and decorations the chairman. So you're obviously about both behind the scenes and making sure everything looks right for everyone coming in. But what are some of the some of the events, uh, some of the aspects of the night that viewers really need to be a part of if they're not going to be able to get in this year? I know it's sold out again. Jessica said that it's thoroughly sold out with a big waiting list. But to get ready for next year. It, as I shared earlier, uh, just the evening for a couple or an individual is spectacular. Right, there is right. um, magnificent food. We have a fabulous band uh, that usually just plays well into the uh, night for us. We have an open bar for the entire duration of the evening. The um, whole night. For the wow. entire night. Right. And, and um, certainly for those who uh, are not interested in alcoholic beverages. There's plenty of uh, other libations sure, made available, sure. but um, we have um, some beautiful auction items, mm -hmm. uh, silent auction items, as well as a live auction that transpires during the evening. And we have already had some spectacular donations made. Great, and good. people will have an opportunity to bid on things that you know could really interest them. They can mm -hmm. benefit a good cause and uh, certainly get some. Uh, good prices on right, things as well. Right. So. Stuff they couldn't buy in the open market oftentimes that you just can't find anywhere and have to come to an event like That's this. True. We have um, Sudi Daves is our art and auction chairperson on the committee mm -hmm. for the gala and she herself is a local artist who is just right. you know fantastic and she's oh, yeah. been wonderful over the years too with her committee to uh, solicit um, some beautiful works of art as well as participate mm -hmm. and oh, uh, yeah. donate donate one of her own. So we oftentimes have a little uh, competition going there sometimes <laughs> for individuals for who are yeah, like yeah, sparring sure. for uh, various piece of, pieces of art, but we like that in a fundraising right, environment. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about some of the big, big ticket items. You've got some uh, live auction items that you've had in the past. We Maybe do. let's highlight some of the special ones in the past, just for, so viewers can get a sense of some of the great things that you may remember even back to the early stages. Well, we'll talk a little bit about this one. Well, we felt that individuals were um, as beautiful as it is to live in this particular area. Right. We have a large traveling population who oh, yeah. enjoys vacationing as well. So those have always gone over very well. We've all, uh, often offered um, cruises, um, right. sailboat uh, excursions, um, mm -hmm. the Caribbean, Caribbean trips. Uh, last year, we actually had a trip to Hawaii. Really? So, Great. Yeah. Wow. So this year we uh, actually have a trip um, being auctioned to the French Riviera. Oh, come on. And In the live auction, a exactly. trip to the French Riviera. Yes, wow. Yes. And uh, we have an Aruba uh, trip that's already mm. uh, slated. Um, we have for the golfer or even for the family that just likes to put, put around the neighborhood, a fabulous new 2008 club car. Get down. And, wow. Uh, so we have some really fantastic uh, auction items and a lot that appeal to everyone's budget. We have right, some right. beautiful jewelry pieces, but some things as simple as just a beautiful sweet grass basket. And, right. and so we it's not all high end mm -hmm. or high ticket mm -hmm. items. There are other uh, items available for everyone. And folks oftentimes will bring a credit card or their checkbook to actually yes. buy items that night. That's exactly right. We can manage all of that for them. Okay, good. 